so here I have another small project it's going to be a backup daily driver for me until I can get everything situated when I get everything situated I'll probably end up trying to put some performance parts in the engine it's a 1987 Camaro with a 350 out of something in the 65s all I know is it's a 350 out of a 65 car that was rebuilt and it's got less than a thousand miles on the motor that's why I wanted it to be my backup daily driver because with only a thousand miles on the motor it shouldn't break down too soon uh, you got the brand new Elderbrock carburetor that we put in after I bought the car um, it runs great I can't start it up because right now I've got the exhaust pulled off because the dipstick is down there under the exhaust um, and I can't get to it with the manifold on there so I am putting a set of shorty headers on there so that we can put a dipstick in it and uh, right now I'm trying to find some header caps that are header collectors or adapters, whatever you want to call them, to fit it and adapt it to the muffler. Um, it's got mostly original dash and everything. It's tore up a little bit. Got some gauges, no radio. I got it and um, it, it does run great uh, I know that the only thing that had to be done to it when we started it when I bought it was because the battery was absolute crap in it the carburetor leaked and small things like that Then you got the cover for the back, I guess. That only half as works. to put in the back. It's not as sophisticated as my car was where it had the actual slots for them down in there. Um, yeah, it have the actual T-tops. Which I have never attempted to take. And, uh, I mean, I like but everybody also said I was crazy for making my F6. So, this car is a small project that hopefully will be done in a couple weeks. Depends if I can get someone or order them. So, the right header caps. Because I bought a pair of header caps from an auto parts store near me, and they ended up being three inch to two and a half inch adapters. I need, at the very most, two and a half inch adapters to um, two and a quarter, or two and a half to two and a half, or two and a half to two and. Um, probably like
like six eighths. So I'm gonna end up welding them on the old muffler, which this car does have. single into or it's a Y pipe from the header or the manifold headers to muffler in the back it goes into dual exhaust in the back. It actually sounds pretty good. I'd rather have true duels but hell it's a six hundred five six hundred dollar exhaust system on there I think I'll keep it. But other than that, this car should be a good daily driver. It's not going to be very fast because I think they're rated at like 225 horsepower. Uh, I don't know about the motor that's in it, but I know the 350 TDI that it had in it, which was one of the first fuel injections they had, I think, was like 225 horsepower. So hopefully the motor that's in it is a lot faster than the motor that's in it. I mean 225 isn't horrible. It's not great though. I mean my 3.8 liter in my 96 Camaro had 210. My uh, four cylinder in my GST stock supposed to have 210. Um, my G Eclipse GS has 140 stock. Uh, But yeah, so hopefully it'll have more than 210 at least. Or 225 like it originally had before it had a swap motor in it. But the reason the guy swapped the motor in it was because he was one of those people who said sensors are a bunch of bullshit, which I kind of agree with him, but at the same time, I like a fuel injected car because carbureted, I'm not familiar with. I'm going to get familiar with it, but it seems simple enough, and uh, end up getting this car to run good, and then later on down the road, when the, the GST is straightened out, I will have, uh, the GST is going to be my full-fledged race car, and this uh, Camaro will, might be... A street car? Maybe. I'm not sure. Either. But the GST is definitely going to be my circuit car once it gets figured out. I'm going to be pushing at least 500 horsepower before I ever take it to the track, though. I don't care how long it takes, but it's going to be around 500 horsepower before I take it to the circuit track. And it's going to have a transmission that has a second gear in it. And this car is just going to be focused on getting it on the road. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.